Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So starting off with the eyes, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer to act as a primer for my eyeshadow. And I'm going to be applying that all over my eyes. I love using my fingers to melt that concealer into my skin, but it's so hard when you have long nose. It's like so complicated. <laughs> That's why I use this brush to apply the concealer because it helps us to style, you know, but I prefer using my fingers just because it melts it so nicely into the skin. To set that concealer, I'm going to use the Cover FX Translucent Powder. As you guys know, it's my favorite to use just because it leaves such a flawless and smooth finish. I'm seriously so obsessed with it. Like, if you guys haven't tried it, make sure to try it and you're going to say the same thing. Trust me. <laughs> I'm going to be using Creamsicle as my transition shade and I'm going to be blending that all over my crease. And with this specific eyeshadow, I like to go back and forth just because like I really like those jelly mustard eyeshadow tones so I always go back and forth with it. Just because I want it to show up once I'm done with my eyeshadow but you could always go back and apply a little bit more towards the end. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe M504. It's the large pointed blender brush. I really like to use this one when I'm applying my transition shade. Now going in with butter, I'm going to be putting that on my outer crease and bringing it in towards my inner crease as well. And I'm using a Sigma blending brush. And it's quite difficult to explain which eyeshadows I'm using just because, like I said, I don't have the names on the palette. And I literally screen captured somebody else's um, post on Instagram that they actually put the names to help everybody out. So that's how I'm going by. <laughs> it's really hard. But now I'm applying butter on the other eye and I'm blending that with the Sigma blending brush as well. Now using Hunts, I'm going to be putting that all over my crease and I'm blending that with a Sigma blending brush as well. And with Hunts, I went back and forth a couple of times just because I really wanted to show up on my crease. I was swatching all of the colors on the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I didn't really have a chance to do that when I got home, but I was swatching them all and I was so mesmerized by them. They're so beautiful. Now focusing on the outer V, I'm going to be applying Chip and I'm going to be putting that on the outer V and I'm going to be blending that with a Morphe blending brush. And I'm going to be blending that really carefully towards my outer crease and blending it in towards the inner crease just because I don't want it to be too blown out. And I'm taking the Sigma brush that I applied Hunts with and I'm blending that out as well. Then I went in with my Morphe brush and this is a clean one. This is the one that I applied the translucent powder and I'm just blending all those colors in just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. And I went back with this um, chip color to add more pigmentation onto that outer V and I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. And doing the same thing, I'm getting the Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to be blending that towards my outer crease and bringing it in. And right here, I went ahead and took the Sigma blending brush and I actually picked up some of that chip eyeshadow just because I wasn't getting that much pigmentation as I wanted to by doing the other method. So this helped out a little bit. Then I took my Morphe M504 and I'm just blending all those eyeshadows together just to make sure it's really nice and blended. Now time to create that half cut crease and I'm using this LA Girl concealer as my brush to apply the concealer and this is a hard part. I hate doing this but I really love the way a half cut crease looks so I have to deal with it. Literally like I hold my breath while I'm doing this. I'm like my hands start shaking. <laughs> I'm just not really that great when it comes to cut creases. 
taking a clean brush i'm going to start to create kind of like a fady effect towards the end because when you're applying that concealer it'll look harsh if you just leave it like that moving on to the next eye i'm going to be doing the same thing i did as the other eye and this one did turn out a little bit different but i end up fixing it towards the end and to set that concealer i'm using the cover effects translucent powder And taking a Morphe flat shader brush, I'm going to be applying Little Lady. And it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted to on the first pickup, so I had to go back and forth with that same eyeshadow. I had swatched Faint, Sissy, and Little Lady, and I didn't know which one to choose out of those three because they're all so beautiful. But since I rarely ever use pinks, like I didn't know which one to choose and I didn't want it to be too dramatic, so I went with Little Lady just because it's a little bit more of a softer pink. Now taking that chip eyeshadow, I'm going to be blending that towards the end of the cut crease just because I want those two colors to be blended together so I don't have like a harsh line. Then I'm going to apply Little Lady on the other eye as well. And I'm going to fix this eye because it came out a little bit different than the other one. And voila, I fixed it. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the chip eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying that more on the outer V and I'm going to be blending that out with my Sigma blending brush. For my lashes, I'm using the Aramika lashes from Amazon that I've told you guys about. They're so bomb. I love them. And you could just find them on Amazon under Aramika lashes. Before applying foundation, I went ahead and I moisturized my skin and I applied my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is my favorite. Remember that skincare is really important before applying any foundation if you want your face to look really nice and healthy and flawless. And the foundation I'm using is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm so obsessed with this foundation. I don't think I'll ever be using anything else. Although I have heard that um, the Lancome foundation is really nice too. But we will see. I'm so scared of like venturing out of this foundation because I love it so much. For concealer, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and it's in the shade Light and I'm just going to be applying that all over my under eye. And I'm going to be blending that concealer out with the Beauty Blender. To set that under eye, I'm going to go ahead and use the Cover FX Translucent Powder. It literally leaves like a filter on your under eye. I'm not even kidding. It looks so flawless and smooth. I love it. On to my next favorite, the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This foundation, it's better to warm it up on the cap that it comes with and then apply it onto your face. And the brush I'm using is from Real Techniques, it's the powder brush. Moving on to contouring, I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I believe the shade I use is Fawn, I'm not too sure because the pans are so hard to take out of the palette. Then taking my Real Techniques buffing brush, I'm going to go ahead and just blend out that contour. Taking my MAC Shaping Powders, I'm going to use Emphasize and Soft Focus. As you guys know, these are also my favorite powders to use for under the eye just because it creates a more healthy looking under eye and it makes your skin look so beautiful and glowy. Now time to bake that contour and I really like this part because it makes your contour so much more sharp and it makes everything look nice and snatched, you know? <laughs> so 
Now I'm gonna show you how I make my highlight pop even more. I'm using this ColourPop Wiz Highlighter and I apply this before applying the actual highlight that I'm gonna wear on top of that. And I'm applying that with a e.l.f. blush brush. And on top of that, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. Go figure. I mean, this is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette tutorial, so might as well use her highlight as well, right? <laughs> but back to what I was saying about the Wisp Highlight from ColourPop. I kid you not, you guys need to try this technique. It's going to make your highlight pop even more. And the brush I'm using to apply that champagne pop, I'm using the Morphe M501, which is a pro pointed blender brush. And to highlight my inner corners, I used in lights from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use this Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Tootsie. I wanted this look to be very bold, so I went ahead and chose this liquid lipstick. And I haven't used it in a good couple of months, so I was like, this is a perfect time to use it. <laughs> I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful for those of you who aren't as good with cut creases as myself. I'm so thankful for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and going out of your way to leave such sweet and beautiful comments. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. And with that being said, my beautiful queens, thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. And until next time, I will see you guys soon.